Another project that's going on is my windlass. My windlass is what's used to pull and release the anchor. And it's an electric windlass. And it doesn't work right now. With the help from um, another Amel owner, I can't say enough good things about this community, came over and we took apart my windlass and pulled the, we tracked it down to the motor isn't working. So I've got to go and get this rebuilt. Uh, allegedly like a car place can do it or something like that. So <clears throat> that is next on my list of items to do. Hopefully it doesn't take that long and hopefully it's not too hard to find a place. I bet you can't tell which windless motor is the new one. When I brought the old windless motor in to get rebuilt, after a few days, days, the guy finally got a chance to look at it and he said it works fine. And he demonstrated to me it worked fine. But it didn't work at all when I had it. So that tells me it's unreliable. So that's the same thing as I just need to go buy a new one. So I bought the new one. I need to put it in there. Earlier today, I was futzing around with these things that turn, and little did I realize that means this part pops out, and oil went everywhere. So I accidentally gave my, uh, I'm actually giving my windlass an oil change. So I've got to figure that out. I bought some oil for it, and there's a spot to put it. But first, Let's get the motor on. ran into a problem. So this guy has got to go here and whoever cut this cable did it exactly to the distance to the old motor. And oh it's so close but I just can't get it and I'm afraid of breaking something. I don't know. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about this. Oh it's just they cut it exactly. Brute force to the rescue. I just pulled really hard and success. That's gonna suck to get off. Allegedly, I've got a working windlass now. I'm just gonna clean up around here and should be good. I'm gonna probably test it on Saturday morning because I wanna go to the dock to pick up some gas and water. Uh, and that'll be the first true test of it. Exciting. This other guy, I'm gonna keep around and take apart so I can learn about how the motor works. So, eventually when this one dies, I might know how to fix it myself. I think it'll be a fun project when I don't have much else going on.